Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link of GK Today Academy app as well as the link of Telegram channel is given in the description box. Now, let's start. National ICH list which was news was launched by which union ministry so ICH stands for intangible cultural heritage so it is an initiative of ministry of culture and this was launched to create awareness about the intangible cultural heritage now what is intangible cultural heritage intangible means something which cannot be touched so the union minister for culture Prahlad Singh Patel has launched this national list of intangible cultural heritage of India and this was launched in New Delhi. Prahlad Singh Patel also holds the portfolio of Tourism Ministry and recently Tourism Ministry was in news as it started a portal. Name of that portal is Stranded in India. Now this portal is for foreign tourists who are stuck in our country during this lockdown period. So this portal is to assist them and to help them out. Apart from that, Tourism Ministry was also in news because of Dekho Apna Des. So this is a webinar series which was launched by Tourism Ministry to provide information on many destinations and cultural heritage of India. And the first city covered under this webinar is New Delhi. Recently, Delhi was also in news because of Operation Shield. So this operation is related to coronavirus. So the operation was started by Delhi government to contain this COVID-19. Delhi government was also in use for one more term. It is 5T strategy. So this strategy is being followed by Delhi government for this COVID-19. Apart from that, recently Phalwada model was in news. Answer in comment box. It is associated to which state of India? In the context of recent modification done in FDI, FDI is Foreign Direct Investment, the entity of which country should invest only under government route. So your homework is to find out what is FDI and how it is different from FPI. Now coming back to FDI, FDI is allowed in our country through two ways. One is government approval, another one is automatic route. So in government approval route, one need to take government permission before investment. While in case of automatic, no such prior permission is needed. So recently, India changed its FDI norms to restrict the takeover of Indian companies in this COVID-19 pandemic situation. So as per the new changes, an entity of a country which shares border boundary with India can invest only under government route that means any company of india's neighbor who share border boundary with india so any company from these country can invest only after the prior permission of government of india previously that means before this modification the rule was such that only investment from pakistan and bangladesh were under government route so now all countries sharing border boundary with india will have to go through this government route for FDI that means any company from these countries will have to follow government route rather than automatic route now one more thing DPIIT that is department for promotion of industry and internal trade is the nodal organization for FDI in our country answer in comment box DPIIT is under which ministry Matterhorn mountain which was in news is situated in which continent so this is in Europe and recently it was in news as a Swiss light artist Gary Hofstetter lit up the mountain with Indian flag to express their solidarity for India in the fight against COVID-19 so this mountain series is in Europe and it is located in Alps range and it is between two countries Switzerland and Italy Recently, Italy was in news as it decided to impose digital tax from 1st of January 2020. It is similar to GAFA tax of France. Italy 
is going to be the host of 2026 Winter Olympic Games. With Space Agency has announced the launch date for its manned mission to space station abroad through Falcon 9 rocket. So the key terms are Falcon 9 rocket to the International Space Station and it is going to be a manned mission. So it was announced by NASA. NASA is the space agency of USA. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. So NASA will send two astronauts to space station on 27th of May. And this Falcon 9 rocket is a rocket of SpaceX company. So this company is owned by Elon Musk. Now coming back to USA. Recently USA was in news as US President Donald Trump appointed Indo-American Sudarshanam Babu to the National Science Board of USA. It is important to note that Sudarshanam Babu is not the first one that means not the first Indo-American to be appointed as a member of this board. Sudarshanam Babu is the third Indo-American in this prestigious board and it is a top science board of USA. Now USA was also in news as recently Trump announced that he will sign an executive order to temporarily suspend immigration in America. USA was also in news as recently New York City decided to form a new response team to address the issues of incidents of harassment and discrimination against Asian Americans in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. The campaign called Team Mask Force has been launched by with Sports Federation of India. So this is a campaign by BCCI. BCCI stands for Board of Control for Cricket in India. And this campaign is to spread awareness about the importance of wearing masks in public places. So BCCI is the cricket authority in India. At global level, we have ICC, that is International Cricket Council. It is global governing body of cricket. And the chairperson of ICC is Shashank Manohar and CEO is Manu Sahani. The headquarter of ICC is in Dubai. Dubai is in UAE. Recently UAE was in news as it decided to set up world's first graduate level university for artificial intelligence. And the name of this university is Mohammed bin Jayed University of Artificial Intelligence. UAE was also in news as recently India declared UAE as a reciprocating territory. Answer in comment box what is the meaning of this term reciprocating territory. Apart from that UAE was also in news as recently former Indian cricket all-rounder Robin Singh was appointed as the director of cricket of UAE. The 44th session of World Heritage Committee of UNESCO which has been postponed recently was originally scheduled to be in which country? So this was scheduled to be in China and now it has been postponed and the date of postponed session has not been announced. So the headquarter of UNESCO is in France in Paris. Now China was also in news as it is the host of Winter Olympic Games of 2020. China was also in news because of PBOC that is People's Bank of China. So recently People's Bank of China has raised its stake in SDFC. So the previous stakes of PBOC was 0.8%. Now it has increased to 1.01%. Please note that few days ago I think by mistake I have mentioned 1.1%. So that one is wrong. This is correct one. 1.01%. So please rectify the previous one. Now China was also in news as recently it introduced a new norm and made it mandatory for the phone buyers to have a face scan. That means whenever you are going to buy a new phone, your face will be scanned to maintain a profile. China was also in news because of Asian Games as China is the host of 2022 Asian Games. Now SDFC was also in news as recently SDFC Bank started a campaign for social distancing. Answer in comment box. What is the name of that campaign? Now, if we talk about few other news related to banking sector recently, ICICI Bank started a new feature named 
voice banking services so icici started these features that means voice banking features on alexa of amazon and on google assistant for their customers which is the second largest organ of human body which is also related to the special day that is celebrated on 19th of april every year so it is about world liver day and it is celebrated on 19th of april liver is the second largest organ of human body now if we talk about few other important days of april month 18th of april is world heritage day while 20th of april is un chinese language day there are six official languages of united nations these are english french russian chinese arabic and spanish on 21st of april civil services day is celebrated while on 21st of april world creativity and innovation day is also celebrated on the 22nd of april earth day is celebrated and the theme of this year's earth day is climate action answer in comment box on which day health day is observed and what was the theme of health day this year what is the name of nationwide database of healthcare workers and volunteers that was recently created by central government so the name of this database is covid warriors and this is a database of healthcare professionals and volunteers so this way the human resources can be utilized in a more efficient way to tackle this covid-19 pandemic now if we talk about few other news related to this covid-19 recently madhya pradesh government announced that anganwadi workers and assistants of the state government will also get the benefit of chief minister's covid-19 yodha kalyan yojana so for you important point is that this scheme yodha kalyan yojana is a scheme of madhya pradesh government apart from that recently himachal pradesh government rolled out e sanjeevani opd for free online medical consultation to the sick people actually due to lockdown people who are having normal other diseases are not able to go to hospital and therefore to help such people himachal pradesh government started this e sanjeevani opd initiative to provide the free medical consultation to people online where is the headquarters of un hcr so the headquarters of un hcr is in geneva un hcr stands for united nations high commissioner for refugee and recently un hcr was in news as it announced that protection of refugees and displaced women should be the top priority of world during this fight against covid-19 which is the first indian state to geotag its community kitchen and community shelters created for tackling covid-19 so uttar pradesh is the first state in india to do so to geotag the community kitchens and community shelters now what is geotagging geotagging means adding geographical location that means adding these points and providing information about these kitchens online so that people can assess them or people can reach these centers easily now uttar pradesh was also in news as it is the first state in india who started pool testing now coming back to original question so for this geo tagging uttar pradesh has collaborated with google and recently google was also in news as it announced a talk back braille keyboard google was also in news as recently google announced nearby spot to help users to find local stores in this lockdown period google was also in news as recently it launched dizzy pivot initiative and it is a skill development program apart from that google was also in news as recently it launched journalism emergency relief fund why this fund was launched this fund was launched to support small and medium sized news organizations so that they can produce original news for local communities in this crisis situation where is the headquarters of oic that is organization of islamic cooperation so the headquarters is in saudi arabia in jeddah recently oic was in news as 
it urged India to take immediate steps to protect the right of Muslim community in India. So the headquarter of OIC is in Saudi Arabia. Now recently Saudi was also in news as it is the president of G20 group this year. Last year G20 summit held in Japan. This year Saudi is the president and in 2021 the summit is going to be in Italy and in 2022 India is going to be the host of G20 summit. India will also host Interpol conference in 2022. The headquarter of Interpol is in Lyon in France. Interpol is International Police and CBI that is Central Bureau of Investigation represent India in Interpol. Now coming back to Saudi Arabia, Saudi was also in news as recently it became a full-fledged member of FATF. FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force. Saudi was also in news as it is India's second biggest crude oil supplier. Iraq is our biggest crude oil supplier. Answer in comment box in the context of oil, what is the meaning of Asian premium? Out of total number of electric vehicles being sold in India, the major portion was constituted by which type of vehicles? So recently, SMEV, that is Society of Manufacturers of Electric Vehicles, released information on the sales of electric vehicles in our country. And as per this information, the sales of electric vehicles increased by 20%. And the major portion of the sales is occupied by the low-speed scooters. About 97% of the electric two-wheelers sold was scooters. Now, to promote, about 97% of the electric two-wheelers sold was scooters. Now, to promote EV, that is electric vehicles, there is a scheme FAME and the FAME stands for Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Hybrid and Electric Vehicles. Answer in comment box, it is a scheme of which ministry? Apart from that, recently, Nitin Gadgari, who is our Minister of Road Transport and Highways, recently launched India's first intercity electric bus service. And the service will operate from Mumbai to Pune. Recently, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways was in news as it launched a dashboard to provide the details of dhaba and repair shops during this lockdown period. Actually, because of lockdown, dhaba and repair shops were closed, but now government allowed them to open if they maintain adequate precautions. And therefore, to provide the information about these centers to the truck drivers, this dashboard was started by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. So NHAI, that is National Highway Authority of India, started this call helpline number 1033 to answer calls and to provide information about these dhaba and about repair shops along National Highway. Which country has directed the global technology giants Google and Facebook to pay the media outlets for news content. So this decision was taken by Australia and Australian government decided to direct these technology giants to pay the media outlets for news content. Australia was also in news as recently Australian women's team won T20 World Cup by defeating India. If we talk about cricket, recently Tony Lewis passed away. He was the man behind DLS method that is Duckworth Lewis Stern method. It is related to cricket. This method is used to determine the winner in case of bad weather situations. Veteran sports journalist Samir Goswami passed away recently. He was from which state of India? So he was from West Bengal and he passed away recently. Apart from him, recently the former Prime Minister of Fiji passed away and the name of Prime Minister was Lysenia Kursi. In addition to him, recently CEO and President of BMW India, Mr. Rudra Tej Singh passed away. Apart from him, recently Sir Sterling Moss passed away. Answer in comment box, he was associated to which field? So these were the important questions of today's quiz. Thank you and that's all for the day.